Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call this part two a continuation of the earlier video I posted about anti-blackness and black love where I expanded upon these ideas, the tensions between worth and value. And I think there's a couple of add-ons that also might be helpful, especially as it relates to some of the ongoing conversations that are happening virally, vir in the viral space right now in relationship to like black love, struggle love, young Jeezy leaving his wife and kids, Tyler Perry telling black women to expect to pay all the bills, all of that. And um, I never want to tell people what side of the street they should be landing in when we're talking about the um, black folks in particular, um, because it's very easy to flatten our experience, um, even within the community. But I do want to offer a very uh, specific to me kind of perspective, um, but also like contextualize some things. So again, in the first part of the video, I talked about how worth having some kind of like social engagement involved in it. It's about social perceptions around what is like desirable, right? Significant of value. And then the second thing I did is say that value and worth are separate in a sense that value is a little bit more intrinsic. It's about what Kina says about her significance, her desirability, that kind of thing. So again, we're, we, we often use these terms synonymously, but I'm going to say that there's some tensions between the two. And I think this is important when we're having conversations about love, love in the Black community. And again, I'm coming from a very cishet, straight perspective, right? So I'm going to like name the gaps there, right? Although I do think this cross applies in a lot of ways. But I, I think both of those things, both value and worth, help us ascertain what we are deserving of, right? And so I think that a lot of the critique that I see Black women have, especially as it relates to the Tyler Perry video, is so substantial, right? And I think the dot, dot, dot that I would like people to kind of add to some of this worthwhile critique is Black women are having conversations individually, but even in the collective about what we're deserving of, right? Deserving of care, deserving of support, and in some, and then I would say deserving of protection. And so I know that it seems like a lot of people are listening to Tyler Perry and summarizing it to say that black women are mad because they can't get men out here to pay their bills, da, da 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 And I would just kind of ask us to maybe add a different lens to that, which I'm saying is that what I, as a black woman, I can't speak for the entirety of us, right? The part that people aren't really getting is that there is a an inherent question of what black women are deserving of. And that's what we're responding to. Because for hundreds of years, again, living in an anti-black, racist, xenophobic world, we're consistently told we're not deserving of the things that all humans ultimately deserve. And so I would just, again, put it out there that we add, like add that on, right? Are we having a conversation around who's deserving of what? And if that is the case, then that's always historic, it's always contextual, and it's also really relative.